you're looking for exclusive Nintendo content beamed directly to your Wii and 3DS, congratulations, you're watching Nintendo TV. Coming up on this month's show, we experience true survival horror in terrifying 3D as we meet some real life monsters at the London Bridge Experience. Sort the gaming wheat from the techno chaff and tell you how to best spend your pennies in our Nintendo eShop essentials. But before all that, we're stewing green herbs and getting lost at sea as we board Resident Evil Revelations on 3DS. Remember that dream you had? Where you were trapped on a haunted misery boat with maggot-faced nightmare versions of everyone that's ever hated you? Turns out, it wasn't a dream. It was Resident Evil Revelations. The game blasts its way onto 3DS this month in an explosion of melty-fleshed night terrors, and we've been licking our survival horror-loving lips in anticipation ever since it was announced at E3 way back in 2010. The mercenaries showed exactly what the 3DS was capable of, but that was nothing but a shooty appetizer compared to the pus-filled gigantosaur banquet that is Revelations. Revelation sees you in control of Resi Lady Bomb Jill Valentine, who is a VIP guest on the Queen Zenobia. Jill is looking for her disturbingly chiselled former partner Chris Redfield, but instead of old people playing cribbage and drinking their own body weight in Buck's Fizz, the Zenobia is filled to the poop deck with blubbery abominations all hopped up on the T-Abyss virus. Actually, what is the T-Abyss virus? Or cribbage, for that matter. As you make your way through the Zenobia's sweating hull, backed up by chunky Barry Burtner-like Parker Luciani, you discover walking bicep Sea Red is actually on shore. Not only that, but the lucky blighter gets to spend his half of the game making snow angels with sassy new character Jessica Sherawat. A rival for Jill's feminine dominance, thanks to her supermodel looks and obsession with her own body parts? Recent instalments in the Resi series have seen you taking control of hippo-armed knuckleheads, gunning your way through what's essentially die-hard with shambling nasties. Revelations instead goes back to Resident Evil's murky roots. We spoke to game producer Sukasa Takanaka, who told us exactly why Revelations is one of the best survival horror games he's ever worked on. Back in the old days of survival horror, one of the things you noticed is that you basically had to kill all of the enemies to survive. One of the things you'll notice about Revelations is that there's just so much coming at you, you just won't be able to do that. You run out of bullets, out of life, you run out of herbs. You're going to need to find new ways of surviving, and that's what we think a real survival horror game should be like. Revelations utilizes the 3DS controls to make you really feel part of the action. But if you want the steady aim of a style special agent, snap on the Circle Pad Pro. This makes shooting miles easier, exactly what you want when the bullets start flying and the ooze starts oozing. You can pick up the Circle Pad Pro bundled with the game, and it means we can no longer blame all those deaths on our stupid thumbs. To put it mildly, and by mildly we mean to put it with a big shotgun to a meat-limbed engine of death, Resident Evil Revelations is the defining horror experience on the 3DS. If you're a fan of holding hands on boats, snowy sunsets, or fighting for your life against unspeakable biological horrors, we can't recommend it enough. Resident Evil Revelations is out now. Time to lather up and take a dip in the news bath with your Nintendo TV update. If you like your monsters massive and your eyes patched, Japanese RPG The Last Story sails onto Wii this February. Already big in Japan like a 12-story moon crab, The Last Story is an epic tale of chiselled mercs, medieval towns and leaping flea things. Put simply, it's humongous, and it pushes the Wii harder than a galvanised pushing robot built for the sole purpose of pushing computery things. The last story makes its grand entrance on the 24th of February, and it even includes a six-player co-op mode for popular people, like us. What do you mean? We have, we have five friends. Yet yeah, mum totally counts. Next up, the Mutant Muds. Coming at you in a shower of slime-caked madness from indie developer's Renegade Kid, you play bespectacled hero Maximilian as he attempts to defeat an army of oily monsters, using only soapy water and the help of his… grandma. Don't be deceived by the retro 2D visuals though, as well as having excellent personal hygiene, Maximilian can leap from background to foreground like some kind of perspective wizard. Expect Mutant Mud to clean up on the Nintendo eShop in the near future.
With ocean-bound Monster Fest Resident Evil Revelations chugging towards shop shelves right now, we thought it was the perfect time to get the collywobbles at the horrifying London Bridge experience. Set in a putrid plague pit, we braved bleeding walls, claustrophobic caverns, and all manner of horrors right out of Baron Von Frightful's nastiest nightmare. It makes being trapped on an ocean liner of mutants sound like tea with Auntie Cuddles. Nintendo TV also got to rub stumps with some real-life monsters in exchange for a go on Capcom's chilling survival horror. We asked the beasts of London Bridge what they thought of the game. So how frightening did these people find the game, on a scale ranging from crying kitten to demonic baboon? <laughs> Okay then, lovely. Thanks very much to the London Bridge Experience for a thoroughly chilling evening. January is a month where you tighten the purse strings and money has to go that little bit further. With this in mind, Nintendo are being as generous as a friendless lottery winner and are giving away some frankly incredible thumb treats for your 3DS. Swooping to the Nintendo eShop from retro heaven is 3D Classics Kid Icarus, with gaming icon Pit looking surprisingly fresh-faced for his age. It might have something to do with those angelic wings or a particularly gruelling skincare regime. More likely, it's the fact that this has been given a 3D Classics makeover, which would make even a builder's kneecap look pretty. It's also the perfect way to preemptively answer your prayers for Kid Icarus Uprising, coming to 3DS later this year. To get 3D Classics Kid Icarus for free, all you have to do is register two selected 3DS titles before the 31st of January. If you miss the deadline, you'll still be able to buy the game from the Nintendo eShop, using some of that money that's so popular nowadays. If you fancy recreating some angelic art but you don't have paper to scribble on, get yourself Nintendo Letterbox. It's perfect for anyone that hates spending cash but loves sending badly drawn pictures of dinosaurs to their mates. Rawr! With the help of spectacled letter lover Nikki, you can now send 3D notes to all of your friends for free. It's like email, but with more drawings. I'm not sure if it's art, but I like it. Finally, if you absolutely must spend some money, splash out on Intelligent Systems' chunky puzzler, Pool Blocks. Tetris might traditionally have the monopoly on block-based thinky games, but Pool Blocks has filled our awkward shaped holes with its bouncy blobby vibe. This devilish brick fest is as challenging as it is colourful. In fact, there are so many colours in the game, we're pretty sure Nintendo have invented some. You control roly-poly fun blob Marlo, who has to rescue his friends by pushing and pulling blocks like an indecisive bricklayer before scaling each structure. It sounds simple, but underneath that spongy exterior is a challenging and enjoyable treat. Pull Blocks has rolled out of nowhere and constructed a blocky road straight to our hearts. We can't recommend it enough. That's it for this month, but no need to flip any tables or eat the despair cake just yet. We'll be back in February with another meaty high five of Nintendo news, features and games. See you then.